Crikey, she's a fat one. I'm the hog hunter. And today, we're here in the Australian Outback to observe the hog in a natural environment. Welcome back. This sketch is titled The Hog Hunter, and we'll be discussing the genodermatosis known as Burt Hog DeBay Syndrome. Our central hook will be this fat hog for obvious reasons, but also because a popular mnemonic to recall the different neoplasms associated with Burt Hog DeBay is fat hog, standing for fibrofilliculomas, acrocordons, and trichodiscomas. Burt Hog DeBay is an autosomal dominant mutation in the BHD gene, also known as the FLCN gene, which encodes folliculin. To date, the exact role of folliculin hasn't been established, but there's evidence that it acts as a tumor suppressor gene, and when lost, leads to a predisposition to a variety of malignant and benign neoplasms through the activation of the mTOR pathway. To help you remember mTOR, we'll include this mTOR jeep full of mTourists. BHD, on the other hand, should be easy to remember because it stands for Burt Hog Dubé, and we'll add these suspiciously follicle-like blades of grass around the hog and the hog hunter to remind you that encodes folliculin. Oftentimes, Burt Hog Dubé is difficult to diagnose clinically due to the number of other conditions which can mimic Burt Hog Dubé. Namely, Burt Hog Dubé is one of the classic diseases on the facial papules differential, which includes Burt Hog Dubé, Cowden's, MEN syndrome type 1, tuberous sclerosis, Brooks Spiegler, basal cell nevus syndrome, and Muir Torre. While there are clinical clues to aid in the diagnosis, you should be able to recognize the different diagnoses which correspond to the respective papules based on the histology. As mentioned earlier in the mnemonic fat hog, facial papules in Burt Hog de Bay represent fibrofilliculomas and trichodiscomas. Many dramatic pathologists believe that these two are actually the same entity, just cut in different sections. We've included both our recurring fibrous spiderweb on the follicle grass for fibrofilliculoma, as well as this disc on the ground in front of the hog with some bait on it to lure her in. She's a beaut, but in order to capture all the natural beauty, we need to lure this bugger in. It sure looks hot out there, but fortunately our hog hunter sought shade between the hours of 10 and 3 under this peculiar fruit tree. Did you notice the yellowish fleshy pedunculated fruits hanging from the tree? Hopefully these fruits will remind you of acrocordons, the third type of cutaneous finding in BHD. Fortunately for dermatologists, but not so much for the patients, these cutaneous manifestations are benign, but these patients have a number of more serious complications that can often be life-threatening and require regular monitoring. Among these, the most notable are spontaneous pneumothoraces resulting from pulmonary cysts, renal carcinoma, and medullary thyroid carcinoma. Let's start by adding leaves to the wilted tree in the background, so that it resembles a set of lungs with one lung that's collapsed to remind you of spontaneous pneumothorax. Notice how there's a bubble or cyst-shaped bird's nest in the tree to remind you that pneumothoraces result from the rupture of pulmonary cysts. Cysts are seen in as high as 90% of patients, and because of this, patients should be monitored longitudinally with low-dose chest CTs. To help you remember the renal cancer and medullary thyroid carcinoma, shift your attention back to our hog hunter. Notice that he's wearing a recurring kidney satchel and that there's a cancer crab reaching out and pinching it. For the boards, try to remember that BHD patients specifically develop a rare type of renal cancer called chromophobe renal cancer. The last hook should be familiar if you've seen our sketch covering MEN syndromes. The medullary thyroid carcinoma medallion around his neck. Yeah, I'm pretty much the best bushman. While medullary carcinoma is the most testworthy thyroid association, keep in mind that these patients need periodic thyroid screening and roughly 65% of patients will develop thyroid nodules which should be evaluated in more depth. Short and sweet. Now let's wrap this sketch up with a review of the hooks. Burthog de Bay syndrome is a disorder characterized by defects in the BHD or FLCN gene, which encodes folliculin. This is thought to act as a tumor suppressor gene in the mTOR pathway, and represented by our hog and hog hunter for Burthog de Bay, our follicle like grass for folliculin, and the mTOR in the background. Clinical manifestations for dermatology can be remembered with the mnemonic fat hog, standing for fibrofilliculoma, acrocordons, and trichodiscomas. We'll help you remember this in the sketch with our fat hog, fiber spider webs on the follicle like grass for fibrofilliculoma, the fleshy dangly fruit for acrocordons, and the disc with the bait on the ground for trichodiscomas. While all of the above are benign, these patients are prone to development of spontaneous pneumothoraces due to pulmonary cyst rupture, chromophobe renal carcinoma, and medullary thyroid carcinoma, and these are depicted with a lung-shaped tree with a branch falling down to resemble a deflated lung, the renal satchel near our hog hunter with the cancer crab reaching out to pinch it, and the medullary thyroid carcinoma medallion around his neck. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to reinforce and test your knowledge by going over the coloring page and taking the quiz. Catch you next time!